Hello, my name is Cornelius Kölbel, and today I want to show you the current development of Privacy Idea, which enables you to design a smooth enrollment workflow. You will get these new features with Privacy Idea 2.16. We are using here two main features, which are the Event Handler Framework and the Token Wizard. So the question is, how does the user get his token? Today, we will enroll a TOTP token on a smartphone to the user. First, the administrator logs into the web UI. OK. Here, I have configured some things. I have configured a policy, or at least two policy policies. I have configured the web UI policy, which says um, that the login mode is privacy idea, which means that the user needs to authenticate against privacy idea when logging in. And I have activated the token wizard. The token wizard will give the user a very reduced web interface if the user has no token assigned. Then there is a second policy. It's a policy in the um, realm in the scope user. But uh, let's see. Uh, uh, there are some uh, some things about the TOTP token, so that the TOTP token will get nice predefined values. Fine. The second thing we have to look at is the event handler framework. I have defined an event. I have defined a user notification. The user notification uses a SMTP server definition. I have here I have a local SMTP server. Um, I configured the sending email address, the mail server, and the port. And here in my mail client on the left side, I'm filtering for this sender address. <clears throat> now I define an event handler definition. Um, I can attach a new action to any event. I choose the event token in it, which means if the administrator, <clears throat> if the administrator initializes a new token, and if the token type of the new initialized token is a registration token, then an email is sent via this SMTP server with this text. This email then is sent to the user, to the owner of this new created token. OK, <clears throat> now let's see what we have here. We have one user, Hans. Hans at the moment has no token, but he has an email address. And hopefully, this defined event will kick in. So. The interesting thing now is how does Hans get his token? The administrator enrolls a token, a registration token. The registration token is a token which simply generates a code that can be used once. After this token is used, this token is deleted. So the administrator creates this token for user Hans. Now, the event definition kicks in and an email is sent to the user Hans. And here we see the body of the email and the registration code. We now use this registration code, or the user Hans can now use this registration code to authenticate against privacy idea to log in to the web UI. And then the policy with the token enrollment wizard kicks in 
and the user hunts will get the very re reduced web interface. Okay, Hans is simply asked to enroll a token. As you can see, Hans, the only thing Hans can do is click the button enroll. Hans will do this, Hans will scan the QR code, and finally Hans will log out. Now Hans has his TOTP token on his smartphone. Great. Now he can use his TOTP token to log into a firewall or to any attached system or also to the Privacy IDEA web UI. And now you see Hans get, gets the normal self-service view where he can see his tokens. So I hope you like the possibilities to enroll tokens for users in an easy, smooth way. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and stay tuned.